Then Elon Musk replied to one of my articles a while ago. He was saying pace of innovation is all that matters, which was actually what I was trying to express in that article. So everybody was excited about that and I got a ton of replies based on Elon did reply to me, which was great. But at the end of the day, I got the feeling, and this is still my feeling, that everybody missed the point he was making, which was pace of innovation is all that matters and not innovation is all that matters. So people usually, if they think about innovation, always think about this brilliant one moment where some genius invented something nobody else in the world can ever do. And by doing that, he got famous, he got rich, and all of a sudden there's a product that nobody can copy. So let me say it clear, this is completely wrong and not how the reality is playing out. The reality is, number one, you have a lot of people for some strange reasons, often inventing more or less the same at the same time in history, which is a different story to explain and I won't get into this today. Number two is to innovate something doesn't mean anything because you need to make an innovation marketable. So you want to sell it at the end of the day, which is often actually done by different people and not by the innovators, which is another strange and different story to tell. And number three is it's all about the pace. The innovation doesn't matter at all. I mean, you just can throw it in the bin, to be honest. Regardless how good it is, if you don't have an organization that had a certain pace of innovation. So what I'm trying to say here is you need to try to improve the product and make it better over time. You continue to innovate your innovation, improve your innovation, make it better, better, better. And if you have the right pace compared to the competition, you're going to succeed because no one else can copy, change and improve as quick as you can do. So this is number five of my seven series articles and videos about why Tesla has competitive edge in the time of the crisis. And I'm going a little bit deeper here on zero innovation without being too technical, but uh, appreciate if you stay with me. So listen in. Big innovators of our days are often people like Steve Jobs, Howard Hughes, and of course Elon Musk. And there's a long list of people I could name here. These people I just mentioned are actually more than innovators because they've been able to group people around them that help them also to market whatever has been innovated. And a lot of the innovation is not really coming from these people, but from the people around them. So. Their secret source is more bringing the right team together, building the right organization with the right processes, the right DNA, with the right atmosphere and attitude, and with this kind of crazy spirit of doing the impossible. All of them did that, all three. I mean, this is just people who, you know, they, they probably could have or have innovated themselves great stuff, but they've been also able to identify people that you know do the impossible with them and goes a long way so this is this is just amazing and needs to be pointed out and all of these organizations had patents and tesla is filing patents all the time you read this every other day in the news but the story here is following if you file a patent it's open to everybody for reading before it's been granted so Guess what? You have a great idea or think it's, this is making an amazing competitive advantage and you file that patent and your competition can read what you've just invented. <laughs> this sounds nuts, right? But that's the reality. And on top of those, to, to get a officially stamped and signed and granted patent can take actually years because there's a ton of information that needs to be validated, checked and read through before these people realize, okay, and say, and, you know, stamp on it that this is unique and not been out there before because the patent needs to be unique. 
So what I'm trying to say here is we need to ask ourselves why Tesla is doing that many patents, number one, and number two, why they open the patents to everybody. And the answer is very simple, because as a company that is innovating a lot and has a huge pace of innovation, you only usually patent what you don't really consider as a big innovation or competitive edge. So the real secret sauce, the real thing that makes a difference, Tesla is you know, doing, is often that what you don't find in the patents because otherwise you would shoot yourself into your own foot, right? So what I'm trying to say is, an innovation is often not this piece of metal or plastic or whatever it is, that from a technology perspective, just to look at technology here, is really doing this big difference and is unique and is famous and fantastic. An innovation is often what is plopping out of an organization from people and processes and organizations that you brought together in a unique way where you enabled people to do something they, they are not able to do anywhere else. And by doing that, you know, inventing the impossible, like rockets landing again, or, you know, like this heat pump, or like the cyber truck uh, with the exoskeleton. And there's a ton of other examples around it. So once you, you are able to attract the right talent and you know, build an atmosphere that this talent can work in a productive way, you, you come into a situation where, you know, this is not just one innovation, but there's one innovation after the other plopping out of them and developing and improving. And, you know, you can focus then on marketing and sales and, you know, trying to bring this to the people, to the consumer. Um, to your clients, to the customer. And I think this is something Tesla is doing very well. And, you know, what you read in the news and, and what you see in videos even here is often like, oh, this is a great innovation, which is, which is true. I mean, they, they've been doing great innovation. But what has completely overlooked it, it's not really about this piece of metal or the alloy or whatever. It's really about the organization and bringing the people, the right people together. So, this skill to understand who is talent is an extremely rare and great skill. Steve Jobs had that, Howard Hughes had that, and Elon Musk, he has this too. I mean, he said it right often, which is, you know, talent is limited. So although Tesla is extremely attractive and SpaceX and Boring Company as well, extremely, you know, attractive for engineers who would you know do everything to bring this company forward it's still the reality that people who are you know doing the impossible are rare you don't find many of them and to find them is one step in the direction of innovation so at the end of the day the organization processes, atmosphere, DNA, whatever you want to call it, is actually much more important than this one innovation that you had here and there, simply because you have a machine that is producing innovation over the years. And by doing that, if they are faster than the competition, you're going to be ahead all the time. And by being ahead, you can, you know, ask for a premium price for your premium product because no one else has it. Yes, competition is catching up. They're going to copy, they're going to innovate to a certain extent. And they're also going to have great products, which are maybe a little bit me too. So it's a product that is similar to yours. But simply because you have this organization that is so keen to improve all the time and move forward, you never have a situation where they are really catching up. And this is the big secret source from Tesla, which is the organization, the people, the processes that make the difference. And that's a point that is completely overlooked. Everybody is looking at this, you know, vehicles and the products and, you know, the solar glass shell tiles and things like that, which is all true. But at the end of the day, 
there is something which is much more important here and I think we should talk about that and this is why I'm recording this video. So this video is one video, actually number five out of seven videos, which exists out of seven articles and seven videos. And at the beginning I was thinking about, hey, you just kind of read what you've been writing before in the article. So everybody is seeing your body language and you talking and gets a little bit of better flavor and understanding what you're trying to express. But later on I realized that by, by doing it, I realized that, you know, there are much more sh shades of gray to the story and in a video I can bring over a little bit of different flavor and other stories which add to that what I already expressed in the article. So consider the, the two complementary, they, they fit together and I hope this was helpful here just to make my point which is, you know, if you talk into, if you talk about innovation always talk about pace of innovation and if you talk about pace of innovation Never forget where this pace is coming from, which is at the end of the day, the real secret source of companies like Tesla.